Change doesn't happen on its own. It starts here. And here. And here. It starts with you. You have the power to impact humanity in a big way. The decisions you make with each new sunrise can alter the course of those in your local community, in the next town over, or across the world. At the American Osteopathic Foundation, we empower young medical students through educational scholarships. We open new doors for discovery through research. We support the community with service projects. We serve the globe through osteopathic humanitarian medical outreach. The AOF is taking action each day here at home and around the globe to make a lasting impact on the osteopathic profession and those we serve to change their lives and the world around them. Today, the sun shines bright on the American Osteopathic Foundation and the osteopathic profession thanks you and those around you. Change happens with action, taking action to make a difference. Help us take action to shine even brighter tomorrow. Welcome to the American Osteopathic Foundation's 2024 Honors Gala. Please put your hands together for our host and mistress of ceremonies, news anchor and reporter with KENS 5, San Antonio, Texas, Ms. Vanessa Croy. So we're going to get things started right now. I see a couple people out there that still need to find their seats. If you could, that would be awesome. My name is Vanessa Croy, and it is an honor to be your MC tonight for this fantastic program we have ahead of us. And I'm delighted to be here as we gather to recognize medical excellence demonstrated by osteopathic leaders from across the country. Welcome again. And I am an anchor and reporter here in San Antonio, and I have done a lot of work on our border communities, and there's been a lot happening there in the last few years. Just to paint a picture for you, for example, uh, they're so rural, they have one local hospital, but the nearest trauma center is two and a half hours away here in San Antonio. So I've seen firsthand what medical deserts look like. And I want to applaud the work you do to bring excellent health care to all corners of the United States. How about a yay for that? And I'm honored to be here as you celebrate 150 years of osteopathic physicians. And you have proudly challenged the status quo, taken the road less traveled, and dared to deliver medicine in unprecedented ways. Right now, we are witnessing a paradigm shift within the healthcare delivery system. And I believe that you are poised to drive innovation, to lead industry growth, and to set the example for excellent, excellence in patient-centered care. Yeah, we'll go for that. So tonight, and I need another clap right now, tonight is a celebration. Yay! We're here to honor the profession, to recognize excellence, and to celebrate success. We also have a lively fundraiser plan, followed by a 
really good band tonight. Well, I'll have you dancing later. I can't wait to see that. But first, please help me welcome AOF's 2024 Honors Gala Chair, Ms. Linda Saulnier. Linda. Thank you, Vanessa. This is going to be such a wonderful event, and you as our mistress of ceremonies. As I look across the room, I am delighted to see so many familiar faces returning from last year. For those who are new to the gala, we are delighted to welcome you and hope this will be the first of many. I have been a member of the AOF board for three years, and it has been such an incredible privilege to serve in this capacity. I've enjoyed learning about your profession, and I've been blessed to be accepted as a member of the osteopathic family. You truly amaze me. Your profession amazes me. Your empathy, innovation, and commitment also amaze me. Speaking to you as a grateful patient, I can say without hesitation, you make all of the difference in our lives. I'm honored to serve as the Honors Gala Chair as the American Osteopathic Foundation celebrates its 75 years of supporting the profession. To share our story, we have created this short video. As we celebrate the 150th anniversary of osteopathy, founded by the visionary physician and surgeon, Andrew Taylor Still, we reflect with pride on the enduring principles of osteopathic medicine that remain relevant to healthcare today. This milestone also marks a momentous 75 years for the American Osteopathic Foundation, a beacon of support for medical students, a staunch collaborator to promote osteopathic medicine, and a strong ally of patient-centered care. The Foundation's journey began in 1948 when the American Osteopathic Association envisioned an organization that could help advance and elevate the profession through philanthropy. Their goal was to consolidate philanthropic efforts under one entity that could become the giving heart of the osteopathic profession. After being ratified by leaders from across the country at the 1949 House of Delegates, the American Osteopathic Foundation immediately started to shine a light on the profession that has burned brightly for 75 years. Thanks to the generosity of our donors, the Foundation has steadily expanded its capacity and reach. Through unwavering commitment to advancing the profession, the Foundation's core programs include educational scholarships, breakthrough research, rural health initiatives, global humanitarian outreach, and industry recognition. As the Foundation reflects on its impact over the years, a recent quantitative assessment confirmed what we already believe to be true, that the American Osteopathic Foundation's impact has transformed lives, advanced patient-centered research, and enhanced the profession's societal presence. Thousands of lives have been enriched through financial scholarships, seed funding for research grants, global health care interventions, and individual recognition. Millions of dollars have been invested back into the profession, empowering one person, one project, one patient at a time. We believe that nothing can dim the light that shines from within. As the Foundation plans for the next 75 years, our resolve remains strong, and our light has never shined so bright. With a collective vision, partnership, and generosity of osteopathic leaders across the country, we will continue to uphold the teachings of A.T. Still and the core tenets of osteopathic medicine. Together, we will forge a new future, pushing the boundaries of excellence in human-centered care. As William Shakespeare wisely wrote, it's not in the stars to hold our destiny, but ourselves. 
The American Osteopathic Foundation is dedicated to elevating osteopathic medicine and to helping students and physicians achieve their destiny. Whether we shine a light to brighten your path or provide a boost while you reach for the stars, we will be there to help along the way. is proud of its success, and we look forward to many more accomplishments in the years to come. Events like this gala help to fund the future. All funds raised help create outreach programs, fund research grants, and provide even more educational scholarships, which you'll learn about a lot tonight. Honors 2024 would not be possible without a core group of individuals who work tirelessly behind the scenes so please help me thank the 2024 Gala Committee, our incredible, incredible, incredible staff partners, and the AOF Board of Directors who supported us each step of the way. We couldn't have done it without you. And I wanted to give a special shout out to Rita Forden, our amazing CEO. We certainly couldn't be here without our generous sponsors. Heartfelt thanks to Edward Villa, College of Osteopathic Medicine, who provided an unprecedented contribution to celebrate our 75th anniversary. Thank you so very much. Our gold sponsors include the American Osteopathic Information Association, the Hetherington Foundation for Innovation and Education in Healthcare, Lincoln Memorial, the best college of osteopathic medicine, Dr. Don Tartaglione, and Toro Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine. Thank you so much, our gold sponsors. Our silver sponsors include the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians, Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine, NBOME, New York Institute of Technology College of Oste Osteopathic Medicine, Rowan Virtua School of Osteopathic Medicine, and the University of Incarnate Word School of Osteopathic Medicine here in San Antonio. A full list of our sponsors are listed in our tribute book and will be also visible on screen during the dinner. Dr. Jeffrey Grove, who also deserves an abundance of love and appreciation for underwriting tonight's entertainment. Hats off to Dr. Grove and happy birthday. Happy birthday. And Thank you so much. And finally, to the American Osteopathic Association, you have been amazing to work with. It's been quite a journey this year, and now that we're here, we are going to rock San Antonio. <laughs> the foundation is fortunate to enjoy such a strong partnership, and we look forward to another productive year under the leadership of AOA's board president, Dr. Teresa Abka, President-elect Dr. Robert Piccinini, and CEO Kathleen Creason. I am very humbled to report this year's gala has raised three quarters of a million dollars so far. We have close to 700 people in the room tonight. If you're with me, I think we can reach $1 million before the end of the night. We have lots of ways to engage, including our diamond earring raffle, our silent auction, and our raise the paddle that will be matched dollar for dollar thanks to the Harrington Foundation. My hat's off to Jeff and to Rob from the Harrington Foundation. Thank you so much. 
There is a QR code on your menu card that will take you to our auction where you will find hundreds of items including vacation packages, tech devices, wine and spirits, and jewelry. There's something for everyone. So with the holidays right around the corner, you can support a great cause while getting some shopping out of the way. I want to mention that Wendy McDonald is in the crowd. She has on some of the auction items you might be interested in seeing as well. Before we begin our program, we want to make sure you have a wonderful dinner and ample time to connect with guests at your table. So I'll turn this back to Vanessa to keep us on track. Take it away, Vanessa. Congratulations, Linda, and thank you. Who is ready to meet our goal of raising a hundred, or excuse me, a million dollars tonight? I can't wait to see how the rest of our evening tonight unfolds. I do want to say a few words before we part for dinner. Before I started researching the AOF, I didn't realize that you were the only osteopathic foundation in the nation that has scholarships available for students enrolled in any osteopathic medical school. You partner with specialty colleagues to recognize residents, you fund cutting edge research, and you recognize physicians in practice who go above and beyond. And on top of all that, you provide global medical outreach. Wow. And that is impressive. You all create so many pathways for our physicians. Well done and thank you. Now let's put our hands together to welcome one of AOF's chief strategists and current board member, Dr. Joseph Zamudi. It's a little noisy in here tonight, so uh, to keep us on track, I'd like to please ask you to keep the noise level down. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vanessa. It is a pleasure serving the professional as an AOF board president and an honor to welcome everyone here this evening, including those watching via live stream. We're glad you're with us. You are supporting an incredible foundation that works tirelessly to transform donations into impact and outcomes. So much has been done tonight, Linda, and it really shows. Honors 2024 would not have happened without your commitment, leadership, and enthusiasm. Thank you again. Now the AOF has evolved grown, reflected, and pivoted several times over the last 75 years to ensure that do donations have been invested wisely, spent judiciously, and distributed effectively. Our grants, scholarships, encourage students. It empowers physicians. It inspires researchers and promotes training. We constantly look for ways to recognize leaders from across the osteopathic landscape. Now, as we gather tonight to recognize osteopathic excellence, thank you for helping to empower, inspire, and encouraging rising stars within the profession. Now, AOF is blessed with generous donors, dedicated board members, a caring and strategic CEO, an all-star professional staff, and volunteer grant reviewers who believe in and support our future leaders. Of course, we stand upon the shoulders of those who came before us. So I'd like you to ask all current former AOF board members, as well as current and former AOA board members who are in this room to stand and be recognized. Please stand up. Having you here to celebrate our 75th anniversary means the world to us. 
Thank you for your vision and for helping the foundation come this far. Thank you. And thank you, Dr. Zamudi. In a few moments, we will break for dinner so that you have time to enjoy your meal. And I know you guys are all glad to see each other tonight. Is that right? Yeah. All right, 45 minutes after that, I'll be back up here to kick off tonight's program. But before we get started on our dinner, I'd like to uh, invite Dr. Teresa Hubka, president of the AOA. She's joining us at the podium to provide tonight's invocation. What great music and what a wonderful group here. So again, I am so pleased to be here and be honored to give the invocation for the AOF. So thank you. But before we celebrate this evening, let's please join me in a moment of reflection. We give thanks for the friends and colleagues beside us and appreciate the many bonds of the osteopathic medicine that tie us to the profession. With our goals before us and no task beyond us, with a thirst for knowledge and dreams of a disease-free world, we are thankful for the extended professional family with us this evening and the meal that we are about to share. Together, let us give thanks, each of us, according to our individual beliefs, for our food, our family, and our friends and for the life we are afforded to live as osteopathic physicians. As leaders in the medical community, let us strive to be a source of hope for those in need, and let us remember to give gratitude for the opportunities we are given to help those around us. May we work and live together for the good of all. We ask that you bless this food we are about to share. Bless those who prepared it, those who serve it, and for those who have labored to make tonight the spectacular occasion that it is. For all of this, we humbly and profoundly give thanks. Thank you, and enjoy your evening. Thank you, Dr. Hubka. And it's so important to count our blessings and to remember those who give us so much for the betterment of those around them. We're celebrating many of these individuals tonight, but for those who we can no longer thank or acknowledge because they have left this earthly place, let's take a moment of silence to remember the special someone on whose shoulders we've stood. And now I'd like to invite you to raise your glass for a toast to those who will forever remain in our hearts and our minds, for all they have done to secure our place in the world today. And to all of you here this evening, may you continue to lead us to new and many exciting adventures. Cheers. Please welcome once again our Mistress of Ceremonies for this evening, Miss Vanessa Croy. You guys could uh, find your seats. We're going to begin our program tonight. And as I understand, we are live streaming tonight as well. So let me just say it again welcome to San Antonio, Texas. And we hope you enjoyed your dinner tonight. The team here at the Hyatt has knocked it out of the park, I'd say. Who agrees? Let's give it up for our dinner and our team out there. Thank you. And once again, for those who are joining us virtually tonight, my name is Vanessa Croy. I'm an anchor and reporter for Kim's 5 News here in San Antonio. It's our local CBS affiliate. Now, I'm honored to serve as MC tonight for the American Osteopathic Foundation's 2024 Honors Gala. And we have a great program planned tonight with some great entertainment to follow. We'll keep an eye also 
Keep an eye on the auction as it will close at 11 o'clock Central Time. Uh, we have a lot to cover tonight, so we do have to address some housekeeping tips. I think I ought to warn you, first of all, that I'm in the news business right now, but it's a second career. I used to be a high school teacher. So we're going to ask that everybody kind of keep it down while we're giving these awards tonight. It's a huge honor for the people taking the stage. And if I have to put on my teacher voice, guess what? I'm pretty good at that still. All right, thank you. All right, to start our program off tonight, we would like to welcome former AOF board president, Dr. Dixie Took Rollins, president and provost from Edward Via College, our presenting sponsor tonight. Ooh, they did get quiet, Rita. <laughs> hey, thank you. The Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine is proud to return as a presenting sponsor of the American Osteopathic Foundation's Honors Gala. As president of VCOM, I'm keenly aware of how scholarships not only help to defray the costs of medical school, but also provide recognition for our outstanding student doctors who are making a positive impact in our schools and on our profession. They are our future. During my role as president of AOF, I witnessed tremendous collaborations and partnerships with the AOF, and, and that all started with the AOA, the AOA being one of our greatest partners. Over the years, numerous transitions of staff and volunteer leadership, our shared mission, the tie that binds, has remained strong. I'm delighted to introduce the 2024 Presidential Memorial Leadership Awards that honors this AOA partnership. A testament to the partnership between the American Osteopathic Association and the American Osteopathic Foundation, the AOA Presidential Memorial Leadership Scholarship has been distributed by the Foundation annually for the past 23 years as a way to recognize the leadership, commitment, and philanthropic endeavors of past presidents of the American Osteopathic Association. This leadership award, honoring the service and legacy of former AOA board presidents, has grown over time into a $10,000 scholarship given to a very deserving individual who inspires change, motivates those around them, serves in honor and deeds, and consistently leads by example. The 2024 Presidential Memorial Leadership Award is being presented to an individual who shines brightly within the profession and embodies the principles and spirit of osteopathic medicine. Tonight, we honor the profession by awarding student doctor Sidney Moriarty, a student at Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine in Virginia, with the 2024 Presidential Memorial Leadership Scholarship. Student Dr. Moriarty's compassionate leadership and unwavering commitment to understanding, supporting, and uplifting others is making a transformative impact on individuals and organizations, changing medicine for the better. Congratulations, Student Dr. Moriarty. Congratulations, student Dr. Moriarty. And I will tell you, I know this student personally, and our future is in good hands, folks. <laughs> 
Now the next. <laughs> Now the next award is also very near to my heart. It's called the Golden Ticket Scholarships. And we, it was created to help students who are at increased risk due to an unprecedented or unforeseen financial constraint. When every day is a struggle to remain afloat, this grant offers much needed relief. And each year the foundation receives dozens of applications from outstanding nominees. And then they, narrow those down by a group of independent reviewers and determine the top finalists. And if you think that's not difficult, ask these members of AOF, because these are tremendously great students. And so this year, an unpre unprecedented six finalists have been named and embargoed until tonight, so you're going to be the first ones to know too. So we're about to discover the winner of the two 2024 Golden Ticket. The American Osteopathic Foundation's Golden Ticket Scholarships were established in 2017 to provide financial assistance to exceptional osteopathic medical students who carry a significant financial burden due to a variety of unforeseen variables. To date, over $280,000 has been awarded through this program. Each Golden Ticket finalist here tonight excels in their studies, displays leadership among their peers, fosters a strong commitment to the osteopathic profession, and gives the gift of time through volunteer programs within their community. This year, we celebrate a record number of six 2024 Golden Ticket finalists who each received an educational scholarship of $5,000. Our student doctor finalists are Elizabeth Baran, Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine, Cleveland. Veronica Gonzalez, University of the Incarnate Word School of Osteopathic Medicine. Sean Pereira, Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine, Virginia. Emily Rassisi, New York Institute of Technology, College of Osteopathic Medicine. Elham Shams, Nova Southeastern University, Kiran C. Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine. Ryan Witzak, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, Elmira. Congratulations to all our finalists who have received a $5,000 scholarship. Tonight, we announce the individual who has been selected as the 2024 Golden Ticket winner who will receive an additional $15,000 educational scholarship to pursue their osteopathic dreams. And that person is... Emily Rassisi. New York Institute of Technology College of Osteopathic Medicine. Congratulations, student Dr. Rassisi, and thank you to all of our donors who make all of these Golden Ticket Scholarships possible. Rita allows me to go off script for about a minute. <laughs> it's a bad choice by Rita. <laughs> but you know, I can't help saying that, you know, this is the meeting that we all get together and we are an osteopathic family and it is just wonderful to see all the people we know and love within this profession. And I was just couldn't help the years I served on the foundation were some of the most rewarding for me, and I hope some of you out there will consider this, because it, it 
really meant we were doing something great for the profession. And, and I really hope that all of you will consider that type of service. But one thing I would like to say, I couldn't help hearing that number of people that are here tonight, right? And really, Rita did not ask me to say this, okay? <laughs> Look at the number of people here, and I started doing the math. Ooh, if everybody gave $100, what would that be, you know? So I want you all to think about that a little bit when the paddle comes up later, okay? <laughs> all right, thank you. <laughs> Wow, you know, when I was a high school teacher, I was always inspired by my students leaving the halls of high school with these big goals and aspirations starting on their path to success. And tonight, you are helping make their dreams a reality. Congratulations to the 2024 Golden Ticket Scholarship winners. Joining us on stage tonight to help present the William G. Anderson D.O. Minority Scholarship Award is Dr. Rob Richardson, Chairman of the Hethington Foundation for Innovation and Education and Healthcare. On behalf of the board of the Heatherton Foundation for Innovation in Education and Healthcare, and as a personal friend of Bill Anderson, I enjoy saying that, it is a privilege to present the 2024 awards. As early funders of the Educational Scholarship, we are delighted to see the impact these awards are making on the award recipients, as well as the future of our profession and family. Last year, I reported unprecedented growth, having doubled the number of annual grants. This year, I'm equally pleased as we name eight shining stars from across the country, a 2024 William G. Anderson D.O. Scholar. Honoring the distinguished career of Dr. William G. Anderson and in recognition of his lifelong commitment to civil rights and his philanthropic contributions to the American Osteopathic Foundation, the AOF William G. Anderson D.O. Minority Scholarship Program was created. For over two decades, these scholarships have financially supported osteopathic medical students who are advancing osteopathic principles and practices and addressing racial, educational, economic, and societal barriers in healthcare. Thanks to hundreds of generous donors, including an unprecedented $1 million gift from the Hetherington Foundation for Innovation and Education in Healthcare, this scholarship program has continued to grow and will support osteopathic students for many years to come. Tonight, eight osteopathic medical students are receiving a 2024 William G. Anderson D.O. Minority Scholarship. The student doctor awardees are Muhammad Al-Farah, A.T. Still University, Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine. Kanika Dunn, Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine, Carolinas. Brandon Henry, Michigan State University College of Osteopathic Medicine. Han Nguyen, Pacific Northwest University College of Osteopathic Medicine. Paola Kamner, Michigan State University College of Osteopathic Medicine, Detroit. Quetzal Moreno, Turo University College of Osteopathic Medicine, California. Amaria Sledge, Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine, Virginia. Emily Anyale Soa, Oklahoma State University College of Osteopathic Medicine. Congratulations to these outstanding AOF William G. Anderson DO Minority Scholarship recipients.
Wow, let's give another congratulations to all our winners being honored tonight and also those noted in our tribute book. Well, now joining me on stage is someone you might know here tonight, AOF's immediate past president and a returning gold sponsor, Dr. Don Tartaglione. Wow. Thank you, Vanessa. Serving on the AOF board, I have been fortunate to see the tremendous impact we here have on the profession through grants we give away, as well as the non-monetary national recognition we bestow. We know that for every great student, there's a team of dedicated, highly trained, and caring educators who instill knowledge, instill lasting principles, and encourage independence, as well as provide guidance for our students. Each year, the AOF honors one of these incredible educators with an Educator of the Year Award. Tonight, this prestigious award is being presented to... Dave Mason is the embodiment of what I pictured when I pictured an osteopathic physician. When I found out that I was chosen for the American Osteopathic Foundation Educator of the Year Award, I just really became reinvigorated in clinical education. Dr. Mason is probably one of the most influential figures in my professional career, both as my teacher, but also as a mentor and somebody who's really opened doors for me. Dr. Mason's had a great impact on osteopathic medicine. All those people he's taught has gone on to actually teach other students and treat other patients. It's exponential, his impact as an educator and as a physician. I saw an opportunity to um, explain to students that they could use osteopathic medicine in any specialty. It's the same thing, it feels like, it looks like you're feeling the end of the barrier. And certainly she doesn't internally rotate as much as you'd expect her to, right? Yeah. Osteopathic medicine is unique, but only if they go out and practice differently. People who are exceptionally good at that skill and mentoring the next generation and pulling them forward is what this profession needs. People like Dr. Mason are the exact right person to, to fill that role. In 28 years, to think about how many people's lives I've interacted with, going back to teach, that gets expanded that many more times by any of those students. When I was a junior faculty member, I was really frustrated with the lack of textbooks or things to give direction to like, how do you treat asthma? How do you treat pregnancy? How do you treat headaches? And Dr. Mason would go, Dr. Chanel's gonna write a book one day. And we wrote the book together, the five minute OMM consult, but that really came from Dave like sort of poking at me like, stop complaining and be the change you want to see and, and fix it. Our book hopefully made a bridge, a bridge that gap between what we were currently teaching and then what we were striving for, which was an integration of OMM into clinical practice. You know, Dr. Survey, Dr. Chanel, all the people that I've trained are now training the next generation. My legacy is not me, it's the people that I leave behind. I'm over the moon that Dr. Mason is winning the AOF Educator of the Year Award for this year. I think that he's such a wealth of knowledge about the history and the philosophy of the profession, and all that is integrated into the care of his patients and, quite frankly, into the care of his students and his residents. I want to say thank you to the American Osteopathic Foundation for recognizing Dr. Mason on behalf of his students who he's touched and imparted the knowledge of osteopathic medicine on them. You know, I have made some significant impacts, which is really cool. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the people who I've been able to work with and train are just amazing people.
And let's give one more congratulations to Dr. Mason. <laughs> Clearly, he's inspiring the next generation, and I have no doubt will do so for many years to come. Joining me on stage now is Dr. Tammy Hendricks, Dean and Chief Academic Officer of Turo University, California College of Osteopathic Medicine. I'm delighted to be here with you, representing Turo's physicians, faculty, and students. We are proud to be a gold partner and would like to echo congratulations for those being recognized on this national stage. For these next awards, we applaud the recipients' efforts to be with us this evening, as they are all residents. Every physician here and every physician watching online remembers what it was like to be in residency. Residency is an exciting time full of new discoveries and wonderful opportunities to use osteopathic principles and practices in the course of your daily activities. To each resident being honored this evening, we applaud the difference you are making in the lives of others and commend your commitment to osteopathic medicine. Toro would also like to applaud AOF's collaboration with specialty colleges and program directors to shine a light on these exceptional physicians. Joining the stage are representatives from our distinguished specialty partners to co-present the award with leaders from the AOF. The Outstanding Resident of the Year Award was established nearly 30 years ago in partnership with our specialty colleges. These annual awards recognize and honor residents who embody a spirit of altruism and whose combination of clinical promise, leadership, dedication, and commitment to osteopathic-centered patient care separates them from their peers. Leaders from our specialty partners will join us on stage to co-present the awards. The American Osteopathic Foundation, in partnership with the American Osteopathic College of Anesthesiology, is proud to present the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Anesthesiology to Camille Hawkins, DO. The American Osteopathic Foundation, in partnership with American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians, is proud to present the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Family Medicine to Joe Lee, D.O. The American Osteopathic Foundation and the Medical and Educational Foundation of the American College of Osteopathic Obstetricians and Gynecologists are proud to present Julia Magnus, D.O., as the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Obstetrics and Gynecology. The American Osteopathic Foundation and the American Osteopathic Academy of Orthopedics are proud to present Jake Xavier Chekets, D.O., as the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Orthopedics. The American Osteopathic Foundation, in partnership with the American Academy of Osteopathy, is proud to present the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Osteopathic Medicine to Ben Green, D.O. The American Osteopathic Foundation, in partnership with the American College of Osteopathic Pediatricians, is proud to present the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Pediatrics to Mackenzie LeMay, D.O. The American Osteopathic Foundation and the American Osteopathic Academy of Addiction Medicine are proud to recognize the following physician who was unable to attend this evening. Seth Muma, D.O., is awarded the 2024 Outstanding Resident of the Year in Addiction Medicine. Congratulations to each of these outstanding residents.
thank you for taking us along on the osteopathic journey, starting with amazing medical students to outstanding residents, then exceptional physicians in practice which is the focus of our next award tonight. We'd like to welcome Dr. James Toldy, Associate Dean of Clinical Medicine from Lincoln Memorial University, DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine, to the stage tonight. Good, good evening, my name is James Toldy, and I am honored to represent DECOM this evening. We are a proud partner to the foundation as they strive to bring resources to students across the country, and we are delighted to partner in the presentation of this recognition award to help us build individual resumes while highlighting our profession. This recognition is not presented on stage, but in the public eye. Now in its fifth year, these awards shine light on emerging physician leaders through a national advertisement in the U.S. News and World Report. AOF partners with state associations, specialty colleges, and alumni offices to select and recognize one emerging physician leader per state for their inspirational leadership, dedication to excellence in patient care, and commitment to osteopathic principles. This year, the number of state emerging leaders is larger than ever before, a true testament to our growing profession. Five years ago, the American Osteopathic Foundation proudly launched a program to honor and recognize emerging physician leaders who are examples of medical excellence within their community. Each October, osteopathic physicians from all over the country are publicly recognized through a national ad in U.S. News & World Report that celebrates their achievement, acknowledges their specialty, and identifies their home state. The American Osteopathic Foundation is proud to recognize the following 2024 state emerging leaders. Congratulations to our 2024 state emerging leaders who are elevating osteopathic excellence within the communities where they live and practice. Recognizing the unprecedented number of state emerging leaders who have joined us this evening, I would like you all to stand at your seats to be recognized. Congratulations on this outstanding achievement. May I ask Dr. John Diefenderfer from the great state of Maine to remain standing. It is my honor to announce that you have been selected as the 2024 National Emerging Leader with additional recognition planned in coming weeks. Congratulations. Wow, another round of congratulations tonight. All of these awards are so different, and I'm touched by the level of recognition that you put into each one of these programs. And I know you have a lot to celebrate, but we also need to remember the other reason we're here tonight. Did somebody say a million dollars? think so. We want to raise funds for the future. How about that? And support AOF's mission moment. For 75 years, the American Osteopathic Foundation has believed that at the heart of every improbable discovery are investigators who challenge the status quo. We have proudly supported these talented and uncompromising individuals whose passion, innovation, tenacity, and unending commitment have elevated research across the profession and enhanced patient-centered care. 
The COVID-19 pandemic put a spotlight on our nation's well-being. More of us than ever are realizing the importance of medical research and understanding the vital role it plays in shaping our society and the health of populations around the world. Health research is critical to making sure we're providing the best possible care for everyone, both today and in the future. Osteopathic students, residents, and physicians continue to make great strides and turn corners at blazing speeds through their research initiatives. Many are on the cutting edge of discoveries and we want to empower them to the finish line. Recognizing that federal funding is still on a downward trend, the foundation is turning up the volume and recommitting to help advance this strategic imperative across the country. In doing so, we will keep the fire of discoveries burning bright. Together, we are about to embark on a collaborative approach to fund innovative initiatives that will help researchers in colleges and universities, schools, health systems, and corporations across the country. Together, we will challenge the improbable, achieve the unthinkable, and do the impossible. Together, we will surpass the tipping point to fund discoverers who do. Tonight, we are raising funds to open new channels of discovery and inspire future researchers. Together, we will change the landscape of healthcare for everyone, researchers, physicians, patients, and you. Tonight, each donation will be matched dollar for dollar so that we can accelerate work in progress, test the most courageous of ideas, and encourage great thinkers to challenge the status quo, much like our innovative founder, A.T. Still. Please get your paddles ready to personally lead the charge for the future of osteopathic discoveries and make the improbable possible. Good evening, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Woo! We're in Texas, and everything's bigger in Texas. You know that. So, hey, we're, um, you know, everybody's here for the Raise the Paddle. What was an awesome, awesome video. You know, it speaks to the profession's vision of research, and that's what we're here all about tonight. We can build a pathway for learning and what we can accomplish together. And that's what's important, what we can accomplish together, because it's beyond, truly beyond, what we can accomplish by ourselves. You know, Don and I are pleased to be back. We appreciate you all asking for us. We love the energy that you all uh, give us, and we want to give it right back to you. You know, we help focus the attention on what the heart and soul of our time together. This is the opportunity to come together as a community for something bigger and better than any one of us can do by ourselves. We can raise the paddle tonight. We hope you will think about making a personal significant gift. What is your personal thought? What can you do to personally touch somebody else? A gift that means something very special to you as well as somebody else. Okay. Well, let's get things rolling along, and we're going to have an epic, epic event. I'm looking forward to a bunch of energy coming from you all. So, Don, let's get this thing rolling. Thank you, Scott. Well, everybody, it's been a terrific evening. I hope you enjoyed your food. I'd like to thank our servers and the delicious food. Now, I didn't just get this outfit on for nothing. I got this on for you all. So, um, at, um, we've all been sitting a minute, except for the winners, and they've been up, but um, everybody else has kind of been sitting a minute, so I need you to locate your paddle. Now, don't worry, I'm not collecting your dollars. Just locate your paddle and get it in your hand, one of your comfortable hands. Let's do a little tiny bit of a stretch. I want you to feel like how it's gonna feel. Now, this is not gonna count too much. I mean, it's not gonna count. I need you to show me your stretch. Show me your paddle. Get your paddle. I don't there see you go. Tim, I don't see no paddle. Okay. 
Show it pretty good. Woo! It's pretty good. Woo! Come on, in the back. Okay. We got to see these paddles okay. in the back. Now that you're kind of feeling what it feels like to move again, because you had that lovely meal, I think we're kind of good. Now, what we want to do next is I'd like everybody to just think about what if you were going to do a wave with your paddle and you were just going to feel smooth. I want you to lift your paddle and feel smooth when you show it. Show it to me now. Show it to me now. Okay, it seems like these tables, I mean, there's a lot of competition, but these tables right here seem to have it. Okay, I like it. All right, I think we're ready now. Okay, now don't raise it unless you mean it, because I'm watching you. And there's a lot of people out here watching you. All right, we are so excited. Now that you have your paddles, Scott, I think everybody is ready for the, to, to get to work. All right, so like we said, everything is bigger in Texas, so we really wanna, we really wanna head off the, uh, the epic event tonight. So um, those that are online, I will tell you, if you're online, uh, there's a QR code to, to uh, fund the, uh, a need level, so don't, don't forget that. You can do it from the online aspect. Uh, each, each year, we have matching funds, but this year, we have an extremely high matching fund. So we are extremely important that we try to leave, as I like to say, no money on the table. And so uh, I do want to take a time, just half a second here, to ask one of the people that has taken advantage of the AOF in research. And that's what our numbers, uh, that's what our dollars are going to go to, is research. And Dr. Hofstopper is here to talk about that. Just a second. Uh, thanks, Scott. Listen, if AOF's funding helped us do a large study, and that study was looking at OMM and COVID vaccine and making more protective antibodies. And with that funding, we are able to publish an, a, a manuscript in the Journal of Osteopathic Medicine and another manuscript that's sitting on the desk at Nature. So a lot of good stuff. Thank you. So that's what we're funding tonight, guys. We're funding your ability to show the world what we can do tonight. But you know, Jeff Hetherington, you know, he's always told the, uh, me that there's, there's something wrong with the AOF. Oh, and, and lo and behold, Jeff, what is that is wrong with the AOF? You? <laughs> okay, so one letter, just one letter, you. Money. 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 Yeah. We always start too low. And Jeff's like, go higher. Go higher. Go exponentially higher. So tonight, we're going to start with $50,000. Who would be willing to give to research $50,000 to help us? Oh, come on. Come on, Ray, we got, there it is, 4, 324. We've got 324. We've got 163. We've got 163. Anybody back there? We've got one back in the back. We've got one back in the back, 160. So we've got anybody else? Anybody else going to one to $50,000? Scott, get over here. Dixie needs you. In the name of Gunnar Brolinson and his NIH work this year. All right, there we go. We, we don't mind. We don't mind plugging people. We've got we've got one donor back there. Okay, but we've got we might have even the president's pack. Something this year we might try this year. The president's pack. We might be able to talk five past AOF or AOA presidents into maybe $10,000 a piece that would add up to $50,000. Is there anybody that would like to take us up on that? Anybody would like to take us up on that? Oh, Scott, put me down. Hold no, on, I'm we got Don right there, nothing. Tartaglion. We got Dr. Down. Groves at 144. Oh, anybody else? Here we go. We've got Scott, anybody we got else? Dr. Groves, Jeffrey Grove, 144. We got Jeffrey Grove, 144. Excellent, excellent. Anybody else? Anybody? We've we got James well, Lally we go. over there. Turn it around, James. Oh, Let's see the number. Gosh. 437. 437. Anybody else? Over We've there. got somebody oh, else over here, here in the go. corner. Over We've here. got 229. 229. Excellent. 229. Awesome. We've got four. Oh, my We've got gosh. four. We need Too one much. more. One more past president. Amazing. Make a complete past president's Anybody pack. Else? That would even past us all out to pack? what? 
what do you think? Just two hundred thousand dollars. I'm telling you, right before we ever get started Ooh. off at four, to four, uh, five, fifty thousand dollars, we've got two. We need one more, one more past president. Anybody? Anybody would go in? Anybody would go in? All right. This table we're gonna... over here is busy. All right. I'm watching are we, this table. Are we moving? Moving? Right anybody? Here. They're busy. Thinking about it? Thinking about it? All right. Thank you, everybody. We Woo! send the love to you. Come on, let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate that. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is very, very good. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So we're going to take it down. We're going to take it down a notch. We're going to take it to 35,000. But because we're, we're celebrating the 75th anniversary, 75th anniversary of AOF, we're going to say, how about $35,075? $35,075. Anybody in, in that round? Anybody want to give that? Anybody, anybody want to give that? We'd love to have you. We'd love to have you a part of it. Love to have you a part of it. All right, let's, let's move on. We're going to take it down to 25. $25,075. Anybody want to do $25,075? All right. Moving, moving along, we're going to take it down to $15,000, $15,075, we'd love to. All right, we've got $479, $15,079, $15,079. Hey, Scott, All right, very hey, good. Scott. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hey, Scott. Hey, yeah, I know you're down to 15, but I just wanted to point out, what about Dr. Laura Roche? She already, oh. put, she already put in $20,000. $20,000. Where's Dr. Miss, Ro Laura. Doc, where's Woo! Laura Roach? Where's Laura Roach? Where are we? Oh, uh, there we are. Woo! There we are. 20,000. 20,000. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. But you know, you got to remember the stock market's up by 20% this year, you know, guys. So don't don't think that you, you know, you you couldn't recover the money pretty fast. All right. We're moving we're moving along. So anybody know what what you know, maybe $10,000 would do for a, a laboratory or for research. It could buy maybe centrifuge, it could buy equipment, all kinds of things that it could buy. So we're gonna go down to $10,075. Anybody willing to give $10,075? $10,075, $10,075, $10, anybody at all? Woo! Anybody, 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 anybody? Here we go, all right, Norm Van, all right, thank you, $10,075, 145, 145, 145. That is awesome, that is awesome. Thank you very much. Anybody else, anybody else? Come on guys, don't, we, we did the exercises, we did the stretching, everybody, can, don't forget the stretching exercises, okay? So we're moving right along. We've got, um, now we're gonna take it down to, to um, to seventy-five, seventy-five. Okay, seven thousand five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Hey, Scott. Scott, we got an eight thousand. Doctor Zamudo. Oh, Zamudo, there it is, Doctor Zamudo. Eight thousand dollars. Three sixteen, eight thousand. Awesome. Woo -hoo. All right, very good. Thank you, Doctor Zamudo. Anybody else at eight thousand? We'll take it for eight thousand. How about seventy-five, seventy-five? Thank you, Doctor Zamudo. Anybody else at eight thousand? We'll take it for eight thousand. How about seventy-five, seventy-five? All right. Any, oh, what do we got? Linda. All right, we got one seventy-five, one seventy-five. Anybody Woo! else? Anybody thank else? You, Excellent. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're taking it down to five thousand, five thousand seventy-five. Remember that seventy-five is very important. Five thousand seventy-five, five thousand seventy-five. Five thousand dollars. All right, Woo! Hetherington, Jeff Hetherington, one seventy-one. All right, very Scott. good. Thank you, Jeff. Scott, let me remind the crowd: five thousand dollars will pay for um, a student or two to work in a lab an entire semester. So you got to think about that. It'll also buy a photo spectrometer. It will buy multiple types of equipment. We got, Terry, what do we got over here? Oh, we got Rita Ford Rita, Garcia. Rita, 203, 203, rock and roll, Thank rock you, and Rita. Thank you, Rita. Awesome, guys. The energy is awesome. We, we love you. We love you. We love you for, for giving to the students awesome it's a thing that we will give for years to come so thank you very much all right we're going to drop it down to two thousand five hundred and seventy five all right now we're starting to work now we're starting to work all right here we go here we go turn around here oh julie julie and 201 201 excellent excellent two thousand five hundred and anybody else 25 all right good 25, job good 75. job 
All right. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. We got. We, we, we Twenty-five got. seventy-five will pay for a, uh, multiple types of equipment, good, microbiology good. equipment. Thank you so much. One forty-nine. We got one forty-nine for five thousand seventy-five. You all right 5, with that? Five thousand seventy-five. One forty-nine. Awesome. Very good. Very good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else at twenty-five? What? Seventy-five. 75. All right. Very good. Okay. We're going to drop it down to. 1,075. You all are trainable. I, I love this. This is great. So, <laughs> 1,075, 1,075, 1,075. We've got 322. We've got 232. We've got 193. We've got 211. We've got 204. We've got 236. 198. We've got 293. We've got 153. We've got 477. We got one over there. Oh, awesome, awesome. 401. All right, very good. We got 195. We've got 193. 322. 445. Jill, 235. Awesome. This is great. What else? Who else? Who else? Who else? We got 1,075. Okay, we got a lot. They're writing it down because I can't keep track. Hmm? <laughs> All right, 1,075. We got 1,075. We got 445. We yep, got that 445. one. Very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, 326. 322. We got 376. We, got right we did. We've Scott, got we got anybody else over here? Anybody else over here? Thank you All so right. much. All right. Thank you so Don't much. be bashful. We got 376. Please, please, please. You know it's going for a great cause. 376. Awesome, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now we're going to go down to $575. 575. 575. Here we Who go. Can give us 575. We got 167. Thank you so Turn much. Turn around there. Thank you so much, Doctor. All we got right, 167. We got, we got 443. Uh, we got 177. We got 516. 610. We got 693. 535. 537. We got. 237, 247. 247. All right. Awesome, awesome. Anybody this else? Anybody else? 167. All right, over here in this corner. Here we go. <laughs> you gotta get, let me get my steps in tonight. 537. Very good. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. 779. 657. 657. 779. 753. 753. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you very much. We show you the love. I mean, the love of osteopathic family is right here. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Let's clap. Let's put it together, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to take it down to $75, okay? $75. $75. Who would give $75? $75, 75 dollars we got $419. We go. Now listen, what we're going to do, I'm not going to call out the numbers. I'm not going to call out the numbers. I want you to hold up your paddles, and we're just going to collect your paddles. And everybody that's holding up their paddle, hold it up until it's collected. And we'll know that you're giving $75. $75 for 75 years of the Osteopathic Founders Foundation. The Osteopathic, I mean, the American Osteopathic Foundation. The American Osteopathic Foundation. Foundation. I'm telling you, it is an awesome, so awesome group. And thank you so much for, right here. for your contribution to, to the research fund. We'll have the number, hopefully we'll have the number before the end of the night. And uh, we're just ex so excited. But like I said, everything is bigger in Texas. And again, tonight, we got you did all? not disappoint. Wow. Did Thank not you. disappoint. Thank you, everyone, from the bottom of our hearts. Um, this is just amazing. I'd like to really thank everybody, and I'd like to welcome Vanessa. Come on up. Thank you. Wow, wow, and wow, thank you, everyone here. We want to get you this quick reminder, if you'd still like to contribute, you can fill out your paddle and leave it on your table, or you can access the site online like our wonderful virtual guests watching tonight. Uh, there have been numerous donations made through the site, and thank you for all your wonderful contributions. And know that every single contribution given from the heart will have a dramatic impact on the lives of students, physicians, and researchers now and into the future. And it's been an honor for me to be here tonight as your MC. 
we do have one last special award, and then our After Hours Jubilee is right around the corner. We'd like to invite Dr. Zamudi. I believe this honor belongs to you. Great lights. Thank you, Vanessa. All of my duties as president of the board, I am honored to be present the Lifetime Achievement Award to someone I believe is truly deserving. The Achievement of Lifetime Award winners are so vast and varied that it truly makes and takes a lifetime to accomplish all that they have done. Moreover, they contribute something unique to the profession. With that in mind, this year's recipient displays exemplary character and unprecedented groundbreaking achievements. Dr. Hostoffer had multiple impacts. He's a leader in the profession, and I mean a leader in the sense that people look up to him. And he truly wants his students to be better than him. The immunology community is a small community, and I feel like I've known Bob the whole 30 years I've been a practicing immunologist, and one of the things I love about Bob is his commitment to education, and so we often talk about that. The importance of mentorship in the osteopathic profession is that of handing things over to the next generation. When you experience people who teach you, who mentor you, even just a little bit, it multiplies in your career, later on in your career. You're actually doing more than what you've experienced. And that magnification just extends into the profession further and further. I can't help but think that Bob's training in osteopathic medicine really informs his approach to patient care and really keeps the focus on the patient. And I think that has informed his entire perspective on the types of research that are most valuable. With his work with the Scholar Projects, where he's gone out and taught how to take what they view as an arduous process and truly communicate their findings and give them a voice that they felt they couldn't reach for, has exponentially moved forward. Our ability to grow and understand and learn as a profession. Dr. Hostoffer is at the pinnacle of his career. He's a person who's written countless numbers of articles. He's someone who's written a number of textbooks, who's been contributing to education in healthcare since his beginning. When Dr. Zumoto called me and he told me that I had won the Lifetime Achievement Award, I said to him, I said, so what did I do to deserve that? Yeah, I was grateful. It's important to recognize doctors like Dr. Hostoffer. He's always inspirational. His devotion to his religion, his devotion to his work, his devotion to his family, his devotion to his research. How could you not be inspired? Immunology is really an uncommon specialty for an osteopath, and elevating this specialty that's a very tiny specialty in this way is going to be amazingly beneficial for the community overall. I think the AOF is extremely important to the osteopathic profession. It's a place to get grants, it's a place to get seed money to start up your research. And I can see that influence uh, throughout the profession. And I'm proud of being part of that. I think Dr. Hostoffer's recognition through the American Osteopathic Foundation Lifetime Achievement Award is probably the closest we come to being able to adequately say thank you for what he's done for us as an osteopathic profession. Bob ticks a lot of boxes when it comes to the Lifetime Achievement Award. He just has this joy that comes from his knowledge, his expertise, and communicating that to trainees. The American Osteopathic Foundation's Lifetime Achievement Award represents a lifetime body of work and a culmination of his professional and social career. I want to thank those people that were part of my career, those individuals that in the, the halls of uh, science that have supported me as a DO. I'm honored to receive the American Osteopathic Foundation Lifetime Achievement Award. It's a privilege.
Uh, thank you for this uh, incredible honor. Uh, I'm deeply humbled to receive this Lifetime Achievement Award in Osteopathic Research. And I stand here tonight with a profound sense of gratitude. Thank you, Dr. Zamuto, and thank you, AOF. I, I want to acknowledge the remarkable individuals who have walked this journey with me, to my colleagues, my collaborators. Thank you for your relentless dedication, your brilliance, and your passion. Thank you to John Carroll University. Thank you to PCOM, Doctors Hospital Columbus, University of Alabama, Western University, LECOM, OOA, ACOP, CAOM, AOA, NBOME, AOF, <laughs> and the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> to the students, the subfellows, the residence fellows, I've had the privilege to mentor. You are the future of osteopathic research. Your curiosity, your questions, your energy have been a constant source of inspiration. My hope is that you continue to challenge the status quo, remain unyielding in the face of obstacles, and carry forward the torch of discovery. My deepest appreciation is to my family. Your unwavering support, patience, and love have been the foundation upon which my career has been built. My countless late nights, the missed fam family gatherings, and the sacrifices you have experienced for me have not gone unnoticed. This award is a testament to your belief in me. Thank you to my wife, Karen, my five children, one of them is a DO, and my five children and grandchildren. I want to take a moment to reflect on the patients whose lives have been touched by our osteopathic research. It is for them that we strive to make every discovery, to find every way to decrease their suffering, and to challenge every limitation. Their courage, their stories, and their resilience are what drives us to continue our work. In closing, I accept this word with deep humility and a renewed commitment to the field of osteopathic research. There is still so much to be done so many observational questions, so many, many abstracts, posters, and manuscripts to write. I look forward to continuing this journey, knowing that the best is yet to come. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Doctor. Wow. Wow. Well, it's truly an unforgettable night here tonight. And once again, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be your MC. It's been quite an honor. Uh, thank you. We have another, we have someone else coming in. So Dr. Zamudo left a little early. <laughs> Pause for a reset. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited, I wanted to walk Bob back to his seat so he didn't lose that award, Joe. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Vanessa. We can't thank you enough for helping the foundation celebrate its 75th anniversary. Please accept this small token of appreciation for adding so much to our program. Wasn't oh. she wonderful? Just wonderful. We are a great profession, and we need to continue to remind ourselves that together we do great things. Without further ado, please welcome our last speaker of the evening, my good friend, my best buddy, 
one of my mentors, Dr. Jeffrey Grove, who will tell us about tonight's late night festivities. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Joe. As the program closes, Lin Linda Saulnier and I extend our final thank you for joining us this evening. I hope you will join us for the after honors party right down that hallway, right over here. Your drink tickets are right here in your name ticket, your name tag. So join us for cocktails, music, and dancing. There is also a candy station donated by Scott Cyrus's mom. So if you have a sweet tooth or have children or grandchildren with you, fill up a few bags and enjoy your evening. My, my daughter, Victoria, used to always call that trick-or-treating. So do some trick-or-treating. Uh, and of course, mark your calendars for next year's event. Just like tonight, it's gonna be epic. Enjoy your night. The party's right down that hall. Linda, Linda wants to say a few words. Oh my God, we have an announcement to make. We have broke the million dollar mark. Congratulations and thank you.